Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. And now uh, this session we will discuss the problem number five in projection of plates. Okay, we will discuss the question now. Here the question is given like this: a triangular uh, plane lamina of uh, sides 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it. Come such that the side opposite to the corner on which it rests. is 15 mm above hp and makes an angle of 30 degree with vp please stop draw the top and front view in this position please stop also determine the inclination of the lamina to the reference plane first we'll note down the data for uh, three steps okay first they give on the shape uh, they give on the triangle of uh, 25 mm side and next the first we need to check the resting condition here it is resting on resting on hp and the corner is resting next we need to check the second step the second step we will see the surface inclination or lamina inclination in this problem they not given surface inclination also lamina inclination they not mention but instead of that they given one more data that is the side opposite to the resting point is above hp they given 15 mm so we need to take the second step uh, the side opposite to resting corner is 15 mm above hp so that is the second step so we know that above hp distance will be shown in vp instead of giving the angle they give on the uh, in the form of length they give on that is above hp 15 mm by using that we will do that uh, second step and next for the last step they give on uh, the uh, uh, the edge on which it is so that means the side opposite to the resting corner is inclined to vp at 30 degree the same thing uh, the opposite side is uh, inclined to vp at 30 degree so this is what they give a uh, inclined to uh, vp at uh, 30 degree now before going to the our uh, explanation was we will write down this uh, vp hp and xy line this is because we all the problems we are doing in a first quadrant in first quadrant vp will come above xy line and hp will come below xy line the first step we will explain the <coughs> thing in by using the plane surface so this is the a triangular face they given the side 25 mm resting on hp on of its corner the corner is uh, resting here and then uh, first uh, as we know the corner uh, we need to keep it on the left side because they given corner resting and when you seeing from the top view we will get the top view as a triangle by keeping the corner left side and the front view we are checking the straight line it is look like a straight line and in second step so they give instead of giving the angle they give one the side opposite to the resting corner is 15 mm above hp so we need to draw first 15 mm locus line here and then we need to keep uh, lifting this side it will touch the 15 mm the up to that we need to lift it when it touches the 15 mm locus line then we need to stop it so like that we need to get the angle later so like we have to take the straight line and we need to keep on lifting before that we need to draw 15 mm locus line here and on the locus line up to that we should be rise and it should touch the 15 mm locus line and then we will get the top view so that is the second step we have to finish and next in third step they given the side same the side opposite to the resting corner is inclined to vp at 30 degree so as usual we need to lift or uh, tilt this such that this uh, side will make vp 30 degree or we can draw the 30 degree line and take this and keep the edge on the 30 degree line like this we will get it and final front view we are getting on the vp so like this we need to solve this problem so first we will start with the uh, uh, resting condition here they given the resting condition is corner so we will keep it on the corner left side and so we need to draw the vertical line on the uh, right side and taking the dimension so they given 25 so by using the extension lines and dimension lines and arrow heads and with the dimension figure 25 we got it and to get the third core point as usual we will take the two corners uh, of this point as center and take 25 and draw the arc from these two points and then we will get the third point and then join it 
and while naming we can give it as a b and c so now uh, the resting condition is finished here first step and then we will draw the vertical projections to the xy to get the front view and draw the line between each to be the visible line and this will be the front view and here the naming a dash and here the b is coming first so b dash of c dash so like this the first step is finished and here while drawing the triangle should be visible and this front view is visible remaining normal line we have to draw it and in second step in second step uh, we will mark the resting point that is uh, a dash and then instead of giving the angle they give on the side opposite to resting point here the side opposite to resting point is b dash c dash that is above hp 15 mm so first we need to draw the uh, 15 mm 10 and 15 we will draw the locus line of uh, uh, the line the line should be parallel to x y line this line should be parallel to x y line and this uh, height should be 15 we need to measure it and we will draw the locus line of this and then measure a dash of uh, b, a dash to b dash of c dash take this uh, distance and take the compass and uh, take a dash center and draw the arc where it will intersect so that will be the our b dash of c dash got it so like this first we need to draw the reference line uh, that means we can take a locus line of giving the height 15 mm it the line should be parallel to x y line and then somewhere you mark the actual a dash and measure a dash to b dash of c dash length and take a dash center and draw the arc and wherever it will intersect that will be our b dash of c dash and then we will join the line uh, to a dash and then we will get the angle we need to find out this angle we should get 44 degree after drawing you check the angle it will come 44 degree and next uh, to get the top view as usual we will draw the vertical projections and here the horizontal projection a and k dash we will get a and same way here b dash and c dash is here if you draw it and here the b b b dash we will get b and then here c here the c dash we will get c and now we got uh, all these points then join it a to b b to c and back to a so when you do it uh, this one with the proper dimension the shape may will be changes because i'm not taken the dimension uh, the shape may vary when you do actual dimension you will get proper shapes size and all and next then the last step they told uh, the side opposite to resting corner here the bc this side is inclined to vp at 30 degree so we need to draw uh, take a reference point and uh, measure 30 degree and put a dot and draw the line passing through that this should be 30 degree this line should be drawn with the normal line and then on this 30 degree line this bc should be kept so that's why first we will mark the c point here and then c to b measure it draw the arc here and we'll get b and then join the b to c with the visible line and to get the A, C to A you measure, take C center and draw the arc. Then B to A you measure, take B center, draw one more arc. And this will be A. Now join it. A to, o, A to B and then C to A. Like this. We will get it and make it this line uh, visible line. So only the profile should be visible. The remaining line should be normal. And to get the final front view, one by one we will join it from A, here A dash is along the XY line, so up to here we will draw it and then we will get the A dash. And the same way, uh, B is here, B dash is here, you can extend this line and then B and B dash, draw the lines and get the B dash. And uh, last, C is here, C dash is also on this line, you can draw the projection up to here and get the c dash now we join we join a dash to b dash b dash to c dash and back to a dash like this join this line with a corners with a visible line so finally we got the front view again we will go with the first step the first step uh, they told the resting condition is corner so we made corner on the resting condition and then we will get the front view by drawing the projection we got the front view and in second step they told the side opposite to resting corner is 15 mm above HP. So first we draw a 15 mm locus line and first we will mark the resting corner A dash and measure this length, draw the arc and then we will get the 
inclination and uh, they told to find the angle we got the angle 44 degree later after drawing this line we will we need to measure the angle it should come 44 degree and then draw the projections from the front view and top view we will get the second step top view and in the last step they told the uh, edge side opposite to the resting corner this is the bc is inclined to vp at 30 degree so draw the 30 degree line and this bc should be taken or uh, bc should be kept on that line and then we place it here in the fifth sequence and then draw the projections from the top view and the front view we will get the final front view that is the sixth sequence like this the problem is solved